for three years, 47-year-old Ndakonjelwa Nakuyala has called Oholondema village near the Okalongo settlement home. With no means of survival, she has been making a living on handouts from good Samaritans. Nakuyala left her three children with her family soon after her boyfriend died. Despite efforts by the family to move back home, she has been living at this spot without proper shelter. The newly elected Okalongo constituency councillor Laurentius Ipinge decided to organize the business community in Okalongo to build her a shelter. They donated corrugated iron sheets, a bed, mattress and blankets. One bag of meal, meal cooking oil, two liters and the other things. So, and the, 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 and the zincs, we bought for her the corrugated zincs. And we are have to, to bid it today. Today she's going to sleep at, at her new house, although it's not very proper, but uh, at least better than this one. Another family which was assisted is that of Sakaria Noni at a Piolewa village in the north of Okalongo settlement. Noni has been living in deplorable conditions with his three children aged 10, 7 and 6. The children have no birth certificates and do not attend school. They depend on drought relief food and community handouts. I was married to my wife, whom we built this house with. I was arrested and had been in custody for nine months. Upon my release, I found they had gone back to Angola with my children. Representatives from the Ministry of Gender Equality also promised to facilitate the children's registration so that they get benefits.